you want to level up and keep leveling up never go back to where you're coming from become the best version of yourself not be able to recognize yourself in literally a couple of months so I'm going to be giving you five actionable tips on how you can level up instantly. Whether you are just a student in university or you are in your twenties or thirties. Now I know some of you will question my background because it's not the most aesthetic background, but you know what it does? It works. And that's where my first tip is going to be coming from today. Start from somewhere. Make use of what you already have because it's all that you have. It is all that you need to get to where you want to be. At every point in life, you have all that you need to take you from where you are to wherever you want to be. Previous, previous, I apologize for the sound of the rain in the background. I'm up here at the earliest hours of the morning to tell you guys that what you have is enough and what you have is what you need. Now, this message is not intended for you to be complacent or accept what you have, what you have, or who you are, so all that you can ever be. But to make use of this information I'm downloading on you right now to get what you want from life. Because if you can't dream of it, that is the assurance that you can in fact have it. So enough with the talking and complaining. Chin up, chest out, turn attention. You know what? No. Start at ease because you're a soft woman or oh, man. And start now. Maybe not now after I watch my videos. I've got some of the best thing for last. There is only one of you. There is something that only you have to offer to the world. So don't rob the world of what only you can offer to it. Get up, get moving, start with what you have. And what you'll find is that things will naturally begin to fall into place as you work with the things that you have. Once you make use of this and then you need to get to the next level and you need this, somehow, some way, it's going to show up for itself. Because if you think about it, it would be crazy that you would truly be helpless to your situation in life like imagine if everybody that was poor like had to stay poor there was absolutely nothing you can do about it like no matter how hard you work no matter how persistent you are no matter how much you show up like that's where you need to be that's all you can ever be Imagine a life like that, but we get to choose our life, we get to work towards the things that we have if you are persistent and consistent. Life will have no choice but to give you what you want. And that is the leveling up. Because you can't keep on showing up, keep on but you learn something every single time you put on and you are going to get exactly what it is you are looking for. Start working, start crawling, start sleeping. I don't care how you start, but just start. To give an example of how I'm using this, I'm going to use my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is basically me making use of the things that I have in my possession. Literally my phone and desire to help people with whatever and entertain people. Those two things are all that I have and they are all that I need. I'm best to believe I'm going to use it. And because I'm using it, this video is going to get viewed. So make sure you watch this video to the end otherwise that's going to be embarrassing. And even with this, my little potato phone, are you or are you not able to receive this message? Yes. Yes, you are. And with this channel, I've even been able to gather a bunch of views and I've been able to talk to people that I would have never spoken to and even make friends. So you don't know what you're missing out on for making the what you already have unless you take that step, unless you take that leap of faith. And you know what? Even with this camera quality, not the most aesthetically pleasing background, this video will do well for me. You want to know why? Because I showed up. Because I started something. Something that a lot of people would for the reason of, oh, it's not good enough. Oh, it's not that. They would listen. And I have that much more information. I have that much more experience in the craft. I will learn something that I will be able to do better in the future. Another thing that will level you up but that can help you level up in your life is reading books. That thing that you're struggling with, that problem that you have, somebody has found the solution, somebody has been through it, somebody has found the solution and they put it in a book that's casually lying around somewhere in the world and they're over here stressing yourself, wasting precious time, God knows how long, maybe even up to years, trying to figure out the solution by yourself when there's a book out there that literally has the answers books are short but 
little shortcuts to the problems that you are having and there's literally books on a wide variety of things it, the books are literally an existing blueprint like you don't have to google it all by yourself anymore it's an existing book blueprint for you to work with even the problem that you don't have yet someone has gone through it already they have already written the book about it and that book is lying around waiting for you to buy it for you to come face to face with that problem another thing about reading is that it polishes your vocabulary have you ever met some people and the way they speak makes you want to speak a little better like they're talking and you say you want to talk and you're like mm, and you two are changing your tone and it's not even about growing grammar or speaking big english but the way they speak like the aura the way they carry themselves makes you even like that's what we're talking about that's what we're talking about reading books opens your vocabulary polishes your vocabulary makes you sound literate you just want to be more composed around these people don't you wonder for yourself i know you do because you clicked on this video so make sure that you get into the reading habit to be honest i've sat on my reading a lot at the beginning of this year i was reading more books the last book i read actually was the subtle art of not giving a but i had to like leave that because i just thought like so much swearing but self-development books are my absolute favorite books to read and on the topic of self-development comes my next point which is to invest in yourself slash educate yourself attend workshop conferences seminars take online courses or certifications i have taken a digital marketing course on coursera please stick through with it don't be like me i did not finish it but go through these courses just invest in yourself your worth your value your being because nobody else is going to invest all those things inside like for you there is nothing like the investments that you place in yourself now let me tell you something the difference between you and the people that are ahead in life what makes the people that are ahead in life different is they have skills they have this information they have this knowledge that you don't have and not only that they put themselves in places where this knowledge that they have is needed and where they can actually apply this knowledge these people have taken the time to invest in themselves and that puts them ahead of other people like that's the visual difference they know the things they know things that you don't know what are these things that they are knowing My right? that is where your job lies to go and learn new high income skills you can even learn a trade like makeup like hairdressing like graphic designing my mom owns a cyber cafe i learned a bit of graphic designing there but where the education yourself part comes in is for reasons of unseriousness no good reason i was just shy uncomfortable couldn't really ask too many questions literally have youtube do you know how much information this is on the other part investing yourself slash educating yourself do you know how much information is casually lying around on this youtube platform i'm telling you that i learned a whole bunch of the graphic designing knowledge that i have on this youtube platform and you're here done and you're here saying you don't know how you're going to do it you don't have money my dear when there's a way there's a way side points though don't let shyness like being timid keeping to yourself you all should not mind these keke sounds but being timid keeping to yourself stop you from getting the information that you need don't let it be the block to some blessings that you can literally have in your life because you were too shy you couldn't talk you couldn't open your mouth but I digress. You can learn a language. I make it of Duolingo. I'm learning guest language, French. A lot of people are trying Korean, Japanese, German. Invest in yourself. Because these investments, they're just going to be in you. And what makes these investments so good is that they give you competitive advantage. What makes you different? What is it that you have that other people don't have? Or what is it that you are willing to do, willing to give, willing to provide that other people are not actually willing to give, willing to provide? Where is the need that what you have can meet, can solve? Now, when you get the skills, I want you to always be in a position of readiness, watching out for opportunities because opportunities are going to come and you can miss these opportunities because what a waste it would be if you had the skills you went ahead you took your time you learned the skills and then you are not looking for where those skills are needed it's like a puzzle piece you have to look for where what you have completely needs 
Are you feeling me? That's where the level, leveling up is coming in. Okay, investing in yourself also plays into self care, and self care is not just wearing other eye patches and exfoliating and then um, wearing lip masks, but self care is literally eating healthy, balanced meals, it's literally making sure you exercise and move your body, invest in your body because your body is literally your engine, it's your vessel, it's how you go through the day, it's as you go through life. and. Take care of that body, meditate, journal, take care of your mind, invest in your emotional well-being, your spiritual well-being, your physical well-being, all round. Invest in your financial education. But there's a lot on financial education that you need to invest in. We're talking budgeting, we're talking what really is money, we're talking what are your assets, what are your liabilities. Invest in these things and watch yourself level up. And that's it that can help you level up is planning now we have all these steps i've already mentioned but you want to plan for your day for the month for the quarter for the year planning is literally how you are going to put into action how you are going to carry out execute your goals carry out the bigger picture so there's the big picture of say i want to make one million dollars this month planning is all these steps little steps that i'm going to take every day that's going to get you there and the power of planning is it can be little daily habits that come together that build up that get these big results if you are not planning what are you doing if you don't plan you're basically going into the day aimless and then you have a couple of things in mind like you know oh i want to do better in life i want to get this i want to get that but then like you don't really have a plan so at the end of the day you're like oh you know what i didn't actually do anything productive today oh and that's not how that's going to work because we need to be more intentional with what we're doing because that's how you're going to level up. If you don't have a plan, you're literally just going to be blown by the wind. Whatever direction life takes you, that's how you're going to be going because you don't necessarily have anywhere in particular that you are trying to go to. And if you are working towards nothing, then that then there's just basically nothing else. Hence why you are not leveling up. So now you see how this works. Now I have a planner, I just happen to forget it at home, but we are both charged now. Let's hold each other accountable to getting ourselves plan and we inspire you to actually plan or just any book you can find really for planning from yearly goals quarterly goals monthly goals daily goals the second the millisecond okay maybe not millisecond and i can skip second too but you get the point then plan generally with time stamps and locations for when you want these actions to happen what do i mean what am i talking about so say you wanted to okay journaling and exercising you would want to put it like this i would exercise first i want to exercise by 5 a.m i want to be on my mat beside my bed in my room or maybe with the bed floor whatever works for you by 5 a.m i want to be there ready to exercise and then i want to journal in the living room on the couch by 8 a.m do you see that putting a time and a place to what you want to do hold your accountable it's different when you just put you want to join and you want to exercise so you wake up and then you have the whole day and you just spread it out unnecessarily but when you put a time and location you know by this time right now this is where i should be and when you're not there you know i'm not there like this is the time i was supposed to do this and i missed this and that is the importance of putting a time and a location and location to your plan it would be very silly for you to get a plan or invest in a book or just take time out of your day to write down all these plans and then you don't execute it some people have plans a lot of people have been so many people write down their new year's resolutions what is the difference between the people that are actually getting things done and people that are not literally that they get things done they are taking action to what they have written down don't don't rob yourself of what you want by putting all these things down and then not actually taking action on them remember to plan but also remember to take action and what can help with taking action is checking it checking off the list as you carry out the things that you have to do during the day another thing that will help you level up is by changing your circle or watching the friends that you are making the friends the people that you move with the people that you hang around with the people that you surround yourself with play such a crucial role to your leveling up in life because at the end of the day wherever you are right now look at the people around you 
how are they adding to your life how are they improving your life how are they making you better have you ever heard of the same show me your friend and i'll tell you who you are i don't know if i actually agree with that i think i might not agree with that but your friends play such a better role in your life because these people they influence you at the end of the day you have your values you have your norms you have your beliefs but when you hang around someone inevitably you are going to pick up some things from them so what are you picking up or what are you not picking up your network is your net worth you want to move with people who are going to encourage you who are going to inspire you who are going to push you to do better and even if they're not pushing you to do better they're going to encourage you in what in the path that you've chosen for yourself strong friends or circles will laugh at your goals or your visions but in the first place you gotta stay you gotta stay quiet because not everybody has to know what you're up to. But my friend was literally telling me, my friend told somebody about how oh, she wanted to start this and the person was laughing at her. And then there's just toxic friends, people that are actively trying to keep you down. Because let's face it, the truth is, some of your friends, people in general, a lot of people, they don't actually want to see you growing. They don't want to see you leveling up. They don't want to catch you watching this video, my dear, but you're here in the right place, taking the first action, watching this video. They don't want to see you leveling up. They don't want you to leave them where they are at. They don't want to be alone wherever they are. They want you to stay with them. They want you to keep them company. Misery loves company. And that's the reason why when you're trying to level up like this, when you're trying to invest in yourself like this by getting information like this, you have to move in silence. Move in silence. Ain't nobody gotta know. Mm -mm. If there's someone you trust, there's someone you trust. If there's people that are good in your life, that are good to support you, that are good in your life, that are good to support you. Bro, once you experience a beautiful, good, supportive friendship, you will know what you're missing out on. These supportive friends, they will encourage you. They will be a shoulder to lie on. They will be people that will support you. Like, when you're going through things, they will go out of their way. They will tell you, you know what? You are doing good, you are doing fine, you are doing well. And what's even better is, instead of just moving with people that are going to help you, encourage you, move with people that are where you are at, people that are aligned with where you are going to, people that have even passed you. That way you have something that you are working towards. You've seen someone where you could be, where you could reach, or where you could aim for. Now your friend that you are always, all you ever do is laugh with them. But just to laugh, 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 laugh. I understand this one. People used to gossip. Mm, but... What does it come to? Good laughs and gossip or leveling up? I think you want to level up because you're watching this video. So these toxic friends, they're like a dark cloud over your head. You need to drop them to be able to see the light. That's what I like. And the light is like good friends. They're like, this is what I've been missing out on. I feel like an invisible train trying to pull you back. Weapons fashioned against you. Okay, maybe I should calm down. But you get the point. Good friends will be able to serve as a means of like they will literally comfort you. I was watching Kamsin Namani's vlog. She's a content creator and she was and she started this her business, um her sleepwear and brand Kekasa and she was just saying how she was just going through it and it was not easy for her and like her friend just called her to tell her like she was doing well, like you are doing so good, comforted her. That tell me that that sister that will keep you going. Speaking of comforter, I'm going to include this last point into leveling up the biggest the most important thing the only comforter that you actually need the holy spirit i wasn't sure if i was going to put this god factor into it but i wouldn't want to rob you guys of this truth the true leveling up is in jesus christ you want to level up you want to level up and keep leveling up never go back to where you're coming from become the best version of yourself not be able to recognize yourself in literally a couple of months work with him Follow his purpose for your life. Watch your life change. And I'm not even type of person to really be preaching, talking about oh God, da, da, da. like this is something new for me too. Like speaking about God, telling people like he's going to help you. This is not my thing to to speak about God like this. And if I am, I think there's a reason why. Right? So work with him, you guys. And with that being said, I hope these tips have been helpful for you. And I want to see you leveling up. Give yourself a time range, you know, set yourself smart goals. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Now I'm going to be heading for my class. Bye.